All right, yes. last show of the year. There it is. Yes. But the question is, what are we going to talk about? <laughs> oh my God, there what what's not to talk about 2020 though? Absolutely. So many things. Absolutely. Can we even fit in in this show? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I don't. You know what? I don't know. I have no clue. But I do know Cheetahree is in the waiting room. Get her on. Let's see where she's at. (laughs) And I want—I don't know where Travis D's MIA. I hope everything's all right, but I'm sure he'll come on momentarily. He he likes to make an entrance, but this time (laughs) around, Cheetahree's getting on before him, which is shocking. This is. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) All right, here we go. In comes Cheetahree. With the question is, where is she? It's she's like Carmen San Diego. Yeah. I say it. She's shopping. (laughs) <laughs> shopping? Are you hey. shopping? Yes. <laughs> hey girl, what's going on? What's up? Oh my god. Nothing. I was trying to do a return really quick, but there's nothing in this damn store. So I'm about to just go and get back in my car. Yeah. Hey Petey P. Hey Cheetah Ree, Cheetah Ree on location. On location, as usual. Well, you <laughs> know what? Nothing. We're happy that you're on location. This is our last show of the year. Oops. Oh, thanks and for you calling know, I, me because I was just about to lose it. You know, I'm getting these stores and, you know, I don't remember nothing. <laughs> well, Marie, did you, um, did you, uh, did you have a good uh, holiday? Yes, it was so wonderful. Oh, my God. It was one of the best. Well, we went, I'll tell you we what. To- hold that, hold mm-hmm. that thought. Travesty has entered the waiting room. I'm bringing him in. Well, dang, he didn't have to wait as long as I did. I didn't tell you about that damn waiting in that damn waiting room. Well, <laughs> what? I'm, what is taking so long? I'm on time today. What the hell? Well, you know, we had to, we had to set up the scene. Yeah. <laughs> we had to set up the scene. All right, wait. So, what are you telling me? You want me to keep Travesty in the waiting room for like ten minutes? I can't do that. Damn, he's co <laughs> I ain't saying keep him in the waiting room. <laughs> I'm uh, bringing them on. Travis D in three, two, one, coming on. Goodness, it's cold out here. Mm. Oh, there he is. Travis hey. D, your majesty. Hey, hello. What's up? Uh, nothing. I'm good. How is everybody? <laughs> good. We got we good. got three on location. Of course. <laughs> hey, wait, let me take this shit out. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I had oh, some what's internet the... problems. That's why I took so long to get on. I thought I was drinking rum, but it's vodka. Oof, strong. Oh, I got I got water oh. today because I'm driving. Yeah. Oh well, you know what? I got my drink again. I had oh, a. And I'm <laughs> again. I guess. But you got it's, what it's... kind of coffee you got, Crystal? Oh, I know you got some. So I don't have coffee. I have um coquito, which is like a Puerto Rican drink. Okay. With my, oh, yes. Is there some alcohol in that? Yes. Yes. Okay, girl. What kind of alcohol is in that? Oh, it's rum. It's basically like eggnog, but like a coconut base with coconut cream and milk and spices and then rum, but like a lot of rum. But, you know, I had oh, to light, like a, lighten this one. Kind of like Sounds an eggnog, good, right? Yeah, okay. just coconut. Just coconut. Think about coconut cream, coconut milk with spices and then a lot of rum. It's well, delicious. I just, I, I just want to let, I just want to let all of you know that if I go blind, it's because I'm drinking in a really cheap vodka. We, we got this vodka because we were making hand sanitizer. Was it when, when there's no hand sanitizer? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you got that one that looked like a vodka bottle, right? <laughs> oh my god! I, I don't even. It, it's vodka, but you know, it's oh. o- like that. It's overproof cheap vodka. So I might, I'm not gonna you, die, but I might go blind. You might be passed out by the end of the show. That's what you're trying to tell us. He looks could like happen. he's halfway there that now. Be, right? <laughs> he's like... <laughs> well, it's, it's, tough. it's tough to drink. Well, maybe you should not drink it, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> There's always another choice. <laughs> Yeah, not for me. Maybe I'll water it down with some uh, cranberry juice or something. I thought this was the rum, but this is the, the uh, vodka. Okay. Listen, as long as it's not Windex or anything like that, I should be not as, That's not true, as young as we used to be. <laughs> Definitely not. Getting older, I'm not as sharp. Absolutely. You're, I agree with you on that. That's what See, look, look. He's like, oh. <laughs> so, Crystal, how's the weather where you are? It's cold. Yeah, it is it's cold. cold. Is, it, is it snowing? 
Oh, no, no, thank God. Yeah. But yesterday was like crazy rain and wind and all that stuff up here. Yeah. It's cold here. Like, yeah. You know, it's like 30 something. But yesterday it didn't break. It was like 26 all day yesterday. It was cold. It was cold, yeah. yeah. And there was um there was a few snow flurries um Friday night, but not much. You know, it was coming down hard, but it wasn't going to stick. I could tell. You yeah, know, it lasted for like an hour or so, hour and a half, and then it just went away. But it was snow flurries. Did Atlanta get worried though? Because I know that sometimes they, when there's ice, Atlanta shuts down. Um, they usually do get worried, but not this time. I guess um because like I said, it was unexpected. I didn't yeah. think it was going to happen. They didn't really mention it. It was just supposed to be cold, and that was it. But next day, I turned around, I looked, and it was snow flurries coming down. So if they knew, yeah, they would have cleaned out the whole store just because of that and mm-hmm. been like Armageddon or something. And I'm like, yeah. just, <laughs> not even nothing, you know, just relax. But they go crazy over that. Well, you know what? Mm-hmm. When I was living over by where uh, Cheetah is, when I was living in Richmond, Virginia, I mean, you know, everybody was on my case because I was going slowly in the snow. But, you know, growing up where we grew up, Travis, uh, Crystal, you could attest to this. You drive mm-hmm. slowly in the snow. You don't go 100 mm-hmm. miles an hour. No. And Mm-mm. this one guy, he flew past me. He had a four by four. He flew past me. I'll never forget this. And I'm like, yeah, watch him try to stop. He's trying to stop. He's fishtail and he went through the light. And everything. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, you know, you got to go slowly in the snow. And if, God forbid you hit ice. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't. I don't drive. Even if they say one inch, I'm like, I'm calling out of work and I'm staying in. Yeah. yeah. I do not drive. No. No. Mm-mm. Well, I don't blame you. I don't blame you, man. It, it is cold. It is cold in New York. I'll tell you that. I bet it is. It's I know. Cold here. I know degrees it's cold this morning. Here. How much? 17 degrees. 17? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It was like, like zero. It wasn't that much yeah. higher here. It wasn't. It was like 26. Oh. Yeah. 20 and below. It's too mm-hmm. cold for me. I can't. <laughs> Anything below 35, I don't like. Yeah, you know, I could deal that. with 35 and up. 40, 40 for <laughs> that. I'm like, ugh. But when it gets to the point, the smoke's coming out your mouth yeah. and all that stuff. It's like, oh, I need to get in the house. Let, l- let me tell you, the year that we had Hurricane Sandy, and we had such a brutal winter that year. It was, every day it was snowing. February, every day had snow. I remember. We actually had a party when it hit 32 degrees. We're like, oh my God, 32. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it was unreal. It was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. I remember them days where you're happy oh. that it's at least 30, 35. It's like, oh, it's mm-hmm. 35. I can wear shorts. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's like, hey, it's freezing. I can make it out there. All right. Unreal. Well, I just yeah. got to say that this is our last show of the year. And whatever anybody wants to talk about, we are up, for, we, we are up to talk about it. You know, we yeah. might be having a surprise guest. We might not. I don't okay. know yet. Okay. We might, but most okay. likely, but most likely, whether we do have the surprise guest or not, at this point, we're probably not going to let him on because we have a lot to talk about, which is what happened yeah. this entire year. What happened to 2020 that I'm going to erase from my memory <laughs> after 2021? Excellent. Excellent. That's right. What, what, what should we erase from 2020 aside from this pandemic that we all got to know each other through this pandemic? Oh, that's true. Mm. I could erase. Let's see. What could we erase? We could erase racism. We yes. could erase Trump. Racism. <laughs> racism, Trump. I could erase. What else? What else? What else? You guys got? I go with. I definitely go with uh, erase uh, racism. I'm totally absolutely. It was big in 2020 for some reason. Very it big. just came out. And it's like, always big, just, but yeah, it was. But this year was like insane. Big. It's always been like, there. Like, like there it's was always things, been there. Yeah, things going on that. Well, it came out with the vengeance in 2020. Right. Exactly. Yeah, like even... people were actually saying, like talking about it. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like saying, yeah, I am, and all this shit. Like, I just yeah. I can't. And, and oh. the cop brutality was on another level. That like, was on a oh, really? beyond. Yeah. Yep. Cameras yeah, looking at like, yeah, like look, I'm doing this, and you know. And they don't give a stuff. shit. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So no. it was Let's get rid of that. Another level. A whole nother level. Well. Oh. I wanted to ask you, Trap, how it's going down there right now with that election, with those, with that runoff. Yeah. Um, look, I hadn't looked at any TV, anything today. You know, I, I didn't want to deal with it. But yeah, it's it's elect, uh, it's crazy right now. You know, I'm getting texts on my phone because you know they text you to make sure you vote and all this stuff. And I didn't mm-hmm. do that yet. But yeah, it it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. Oh, man. So, um, travesty. What happened for Christmas? What'd you do for the holiday? Oh, um, I went to my father's. Happy. Father's now. Um, that was it. And a lot of family came by. You know, um, the ones that live here. Mm -hmm. And um, I had a cousin. Actually, my first time meeting him. <laughs> He came with one of my other cousins. He said, I got so-and-so. I was like, I don't know who that is. You know? But anyway, he brought him over. And he's actually from Brooklyn. And um, he's, oh. they, he's been here a month so far. But it was my first time meeting him. And I like him. He's a cool dude and whatnot. So he stayed for a couple of hours and got to know each other. I introduced him to the rest of the family. And he was fit right in. So I know he's one of us. <laughs> <laughs> fit right That's in. That's always nice. Yeah, he's cool. So, you know, I took all his Facebook information, his Instagram information, and he's like, I'm here now. I'm trying to, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I'll keep in touch. But it was cool. Fully connected. You know. Fully connected. <laughs> yeah. And I've never seen him before ever. I never did. This is my first time seeing him. I didn't even know who he was. I was like, and then he said who he was related to and this, that, and other. I was like, okay, well, you must be related because I know who that person is. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, you know, it was one of those things, but it was cool. Yeah. Well, you know, getting back to what Krista was saying, what can we erase out of 2020? How about Bitcoin mining? I got another one. Another person saying, hey, how are you today? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Bitcoin. The scammers. Oh, get rid of Literally, scammers. Are you getting any of that? Who, me? Yeah. Getting any of the scammers? What, on my, on my phone? On your Facebook. Facebook. I say, it's, it, they contact Everywhere. me on Instagram. Um, Oh, yes, Instagram, Instagram too. Instagram, but I do get it on my phone where they're so smart now. They put a name to to the number that's calling. It's like, I don't know this person. Like, they'll put a name in, in, in your phone for you to answer. So I get a lot of those stupid calls. I just don't even answer them because someone said once you answer them, then they really start calling. So I get a lot on my phone. Not so much on Instagram and Facebook, though. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the, the, the scammers do call as well. Um, here's one. <laughs> do you ever get the uh, your car warranty is uh, going oh, out or something like that? that I get that all the time. <laughs> we forgot to talk about that the other day, by the way. But yeah, that's another <laughs> one. When they say, oh, oh your car warranty is uh, whatever, whatever. And they sound like they have an Eng uh, Indian accent or something like that. It's true. Yeah. And I'd be like, I tell them I don't have a car. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's <laughs> well, I do. It's fun. <laughs> the ones that really kill me is the ones that call with a case number and tell you, oh, we're going to send this to our attorney and stuff. It's like, okay, I don't even have no kind of illegal law activities going on. So go right mm -hmm. ahead. You know, they don't even leave a message like you need to call us back because this is the case number, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, really? But I guess like the people are really falling for it because I know when I first heard it, I was like, what case matter? Who's calling me? What's going on? <laughs> Look, you think that's something. <laughs> I get a lot of spam email at work through my personal job emails. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And this, let me tell you this, what I thought was funny. This message came in and it said, we have pictures of you doing some derogatory things. And if you don't want us to hand this in to your employer, you need to send such and such amount of money or something like that. Have any of you ever seen, got anything like that? You know, no, I guess the sugar that. daddy ones, but I don't get that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like pictures of me, I'm like, get out of here. Everybody got oh, pictures please. Of me. Yeah, yeah, and it has wow. a link to it. It says send money to this and all this kind of stuff. And I guess if you click on it, I don't know what happens then. But the thing is, it's a threat. It's a mm -hmm. threat, and it says they want a certain amount of money. Right, and right, if you don't right. do it, they're going to hand in this picture to the boss. And I was like, get out of here. Please, I'll be like, send me money. I look good in those <laughs> pictures. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. Right. Uh -uh. Exactly. Send me money, yeah. OK? Let, let's let's so talk get, about that. Look, I get all <laughs> and like, what's that? What kind of pictures are you gonna have at work? You're supposed to be at work. What kind of yeah. Yeah, what are you doing yeah. at work? Like I don't even I don't even entertain my work emails. Like I don't even give people my work emails because I could never understand why people would give out their work emails when emails are free. 
Right. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I don't have to do either. That's that's yeah. what's funny about it because I don't get that out. Only people that get our emails are people we work with because I work through work emails. with. Exactly. But when these exactly. things come in, I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, I, you know, is it connected to someone that we deal with? I don't know. And they're trying to <laughs> strong arm us. Right. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I have had comments that have gotten fired because of inappropriate emails. And I'm like, how inappropriate can you be at work? Like, what are you, like, like even if they're sending it to a work email, why would you send inappropriate stuff to work email? Yeah. That's the yeah. stupidest, dumbest shit ever. Mm-hmm. Like, you, why you got fired? Inappropriate email. Well, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> you're at work. You passing around stupid, dumbass emails? Come on, like, we're grown now. Really? Well, you really? know what, Trina Ray, I got to be honest. I mean, when I was back when I was working in corporate, I mean, you'd be surprised at what was sent out when these, you know, certain executives who feel they're above everything will send out a certain graphic image or even a graphic act and they'll send it through the company. I mean, one of the biggest things was that old email with the, um, with the, uh, what was it, the, uh, the caterpillar humping the crinkled French fry. Anybody ever see that? I've never seen no. that. And, and the French fry <laughs> saying back to the caterpillar, hey, I'm a French fry, not a caterpillar. <laughs> no. Yeah, well, anyway, weird. that was a big one. And that was sent all through the company. As a matter of fact, it was sent through. People got a big kick out of it, and someone got fired for sending that. But people do all the time send inappropriate emails because they think they're above everything. Mm-hmm. Well, this like... Oh, I can't. But it's just like I said, I know they do. I know yes. they do, but like, why? Like, you have a phone with email on it. You just send it back and forth on your phone email. Right. Yeah. Like, really? I don't know. Well, I don't know. I, I can understand it, but people do it. Mm-hmm. They still do it. Well. I have to say, aside from all that, 2020 has been one hell of a year. But on a different note, we'll get back to what we want to erase for 2020. But on a different Mm -hmm. note, it's official that Crystal has joined the team of the U.S. Roundtable. So, Crystal. I was wondering because I didn't get an e- I didn't get the memo, but I was wondering. But you cool with me, girl? Yeah. <laughs> like, I was, she's been okay. here all episodes. This has been, been on the last couple of times. Oh, okay. Missed the e- memo or something? Like, woo! I know I missed the last little meeting, but you know, I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, you know, we're trying to get an even, girl. Yeah, right. To... <laughs> two women, two men. It's great. Yeah. We're not trying What's to be up? too proper. We don't want to send out memos. What's memos are <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. 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 So what about you, PDP? What did you do for the holidays? I had a very, um, just, just a very small, intimate gathering. And, you know, that was about it. Didn't go out, didn't go see family, didn't do anything. Uh, I ate a lot and drank a lot, you know, and uh, exchanged. That was about it for me. Nothing too exciting. That's holidays. Uh, we did the same, but right. we zoomed. We did a Zoom like um meeting with all the families, and we had music oh, okay. on. Everybody drinking in their homes and all that stuff, <laughs> talking. Saw all my cousins and stuff like that. So it was fun. We went to Durham, North Carolina. That was my son's first Christmas in his home that he rented. So we were excited about that. I went all over picking up, I got everybody pajamas, the same pajamas, you know, that corny stuff. I was like, oh, this is so corny and cute. We're going to do this. I love taking pictures with matching pajamas. Yeah, I love that. (laughs) Oh my God. I know you guys saw my pictures when I matching pajamas on my social media. I know y'all saw. Yes, I saw I it. I, I liked it on Instagram. I did see that. I can't wait. I can wait to post it. But I have to put I put I have to put we had a few with everybody. It was like nine of us. We went to um my son's babe, his girlfriend's house. He calls her babe, so I call her babe too. So we went over there and we had um Christmas Eve there and it was so nice. Just really nice little intimate you know since my family is expanding you know he has his babe she has two children 
my daughter has her girlfriend, so that the family's expanding, which was nice. It was just us. And then for Christmas, we spent at uh, my son's house, and oh my God, it took two and a half, almost three hours to open up the gift. That was the longest gift opening ever, and it was just the six of us, me and the kids, my mom and Dickie's girlfriend. But my son, you know, we were like all on a budget this year for COVID and stuff like that. So the gift giving was so awesome because it was like strictly gifts from the heart. Liv made jewelry for everybody. Oh, wow. Nice. Giving. My, my yeah. daughter lost, lost a very close friend of hers this year, mm. and she's been struggling with grief with this this guy that she lost. I guess they were dating, but she had been struggling with, she's still struggling with grief. So my son went and had a picture made from him that he had gotten off of the site for the obituary, got the picture, put it in a frame, and gave it to her. And I mean, she just bawled. Mm. And it was just, I mean, she had a ball like bawling because we all know how much she loved this guy and that she's grieving and she's struggling, you know, so... That was great. And then he made everybody a poem. Don, Don was, wrote everybody a poem in the card. So he did really good. He hosted Christmas. So he did. He got an A plus, plus, plus. And, you know, it was just really nice because since COVID, I've learned that family and making lasting memories are most important. Not running around. I mean, yeah, we need money to survive and pay our bills, but you know, everybody was so busy just running and just doing, and you lose sight of what's really important. You're not visiting anymore. You're not talking to people anymore. And since the COVID, you know, me and my family are constantly on the house party just because there's nothing else to do. Right. So mm -hmm. for that, I enjoyed the shut-in because it really made me realize what was most important in my life? Because time is something that you don't get back. And if you're spending it with loved ones and people of importance in your family and your life, then it's, nothing else matters. The money's going to come. You know, we know we got to work, so that's going to come. But I just think that, you know, we lost track of spending quality time with friends and loved ones. So for that, I was appreciative under the circumstances. I would not have wanted it to come from this, you know, mm -hmm. where where we have COVID and people are dying senselessly because nothing was put in place for that. So, but I, you know, it was really nice. It was really one of the best Christmases ever, just because it was a Christmas from the heart and just spending time with one another. Right. So I, mm -hmm. I had a great Christmas. Well. I, that, that's great. I'm glad you had a, a nice uh, holiday celebration, Cheetah Reed. That's tremendous, considering we're yeah. all kind of held with not being able to do any of that because of this whole COVID thing. I mean, I'm normally used to going and dealing with a big party, too, a big celebration, big family. And right. it's going to be the first New Year's where we're not going to be able to do any of that either, once again, because of the whole COVID scenario. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, that's what are we going to do? That's going to be intimate and different. Right. What are we going to do? I mean, but I do, I do enjoy the little, uh, the Zoom meetings and parties and stuff with family because you get a chance to see people you haven't seen in years because right. majority of people are computer literate um, outside the older elderly, you know, but they always got somebody with a computer and just to see them on there like, oh my God, are you in this computer? Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's not, you know, so... <laughs> Them seeing modern technology is awesome, too. Yeah. Wow. Totally. And you know what? I got to say this. Between everything that's going on in Washington, and I'm not, I'm not trying to get political, but I might in this scenario. What the hell is going on with the stimulus? Is it coming? Is it not coming? Oh, is, it not, stimulus? Right? <laughs> hey, is not coming right. anytime soon. All right. So, <laughs> I just want to let everybody wait, know. Wait, wait. They didn't give a time? They didn't say it was like March or something like that? Is that what's that coming? Is that true no. or is that not true? No, the thing is, is that, okay, so they had the plan. It was supposed to come out, uh, um, like, this Monday or whatever. Oh, this but Monday. But 
It was. But Trump was like, nah, they don't deserve 600. They actually deserve 2,000. Okay, I yeah, heard that. Right? Which I was like, oh, shit. You know, I can't stand this man, but he's right. Why yeah, are we sending out so much damn going money? Your pain that we, you put us through. Exactly. I was like, 2,000, yes. But then, you know, Congress and the Senate are like, oh, we have to give them more money. So they're really screwing it up, too. Uh, so now it's on pause because now he they they have to give them a new um a new bill, you know. So they are out. trying to do it but, to be two thousand though. Yeah, until Trump says okay, you're like, all right, that's a good that's a good uh, yeah. bill. So oh, now we gotta wait. Okay, Crystal. We'll Go oh, ahead, yeah. Crystal with the <laughs> one, one, one. Oh yeah, because when it comes to money, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll make attention. Well, Anything else I mean, I'm like, well. That's what I'm Talking about educate us because we need it. Yeah, yeah, for some reason I thought it was March. I don't know where I heard that at. I don't know. Maybe I had a dream or something. I don't know. No, no. The thing is, the check, uh, the unemployment checks are supposed to come until March. It ends in March. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what I was saying. But I don't get that. Okay. Right. 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 Well, you know what? All I can say is this, and I had I had a quick chat with a couple of people before, and what we're going to do, the U.S. Roundtable, is going to set up their own U.S. Roundtable stimulus bill. We're going to do it ourselves. We'll yeah, right. the stimulus. We're going to send that out. And you know what? We're going to get it to the people that really need it. I don't know how we're going to yeah. do it yet, but we're going to figure it out. And okay. we're, going to put it, we're going to put that together, push that out to everyone. Go ahead and fill it out. It's same thing. You can go ahead and put whatever amount you want to put. Nobody's going to judge anybody. We're going to do it. Forget about waiting for Washington. Yeah. I don't know if it's ever going to come. I got to That's what I'm saying. At this point, I don't know. <clears throat> But what's amazing yeah. is that they keep talking about 600, 1,200, and then 2,000. And the reason why we, the president is doing this is because he's obviously trying to like hide the fact that he's pardoning all of these scumbags. I mean, the man pardoned a lot of scumbags. I mean, let's be honest. Yep. So that's what that's all about. But yeah. Crystal, thank you for the 411. I'm glad you You're kept welcome. this up. Yeah, you put me up on something. You're welcome. Oh. You're welcome. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I was completely in the dark, so I'm glad I'm not the only one that was in the dark. I was just like, okay, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, okay, I'm still you working. Know, still got yeah. a lot of I'm still work. going to work. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, well, I, well, I, I, I want to I want to stimulus check so big I don't have to work no more. That's what I exactly. want. <laughs> exactly. What's up with that? Well, no, you know, that what, 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 I, I would love. You know what? I would love that too. That would be huge. Here's your here's your payoff. You got it. It's you're in. You know, you got <laughs> yeah. your big payoff. But you know, let's be real here. How is anybody yeah. really supposed to do anything with six hundred dollars? I mean, what can you really do with that? You know, that that's not even a rent payment, is it? That's nothing. That's that's groceries. You, you know how expensive groceries. You can't even pay rent with that. Yeah. You, you can't, can't even pay rent. rent with that. No, oh. that's like a backup bill plus groceries. You barely can pay a car note with it. Yeah. People true. have high car notes. You can barely pay a car note. So I, was reading, I don't know. I but I'll be happy to get it regardless. I, I do something. Yeah. Hey, listen, that's the way I look at it. Six hundred dollars and six hundred dollars I didn't have before, so there you go. Oh yeah, I won't trust me. I won't complain with the six. Uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll be I'll like, look, if it's six, you can give me it. I'm not gonna be like, no, I don't want six hundred dollars. I'm no, gonna take. You take, yeah. you take the six hundred. I'll complain take five dollars if you're gonna <laughs> give it to me. You know? <laughs> Shit, no. Hey, listen, five dollars works. For five dollars, oh, yeah, no, still no, a big bag. Oh yeah, I will well, take it too. <laughs> yeah, five dollars is still a Big Mac and some cheap booze. Right. Well, yeah. It's more than five now still, for a Big Mac. I can still see, so I think we're okay here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So far, you know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh, so, you know what? I got something. I got something that I was watching. Yeah. Okay. So, how many people are sick of the uh, Nutrisystem commercials? I mean, anybody sick of that? Is that still like why? Why is that still Have a I diet? It no? doesn't work. Oh. I, you know what? It's amazing. I don't even watch regular TV, so I don't know. I've not seen a commercial. In years, I don't watch regular TV. I just watch the little fire stick, the movies I want to watch, and that's it. It's yeah. popping up everywhere, though. It's popping up on YouTube. It's popping up everywhere. You know, you got, uh, what's her face? Uh, Marie Osmond again with this whole thing with Nutrisystem. And you know what? You got people who can barely put food on the table, but yeah, you're sitting there with the, the Nutrisystem. You know, yeah, but any of those funny. diet things are expensive. It All is. It's like four, five hundred dollars. They are. We're already struggling. I mean, Hello. You could, <laughs> you could buy regular food and meal prep for cheaper than that. Cheaper than yeah. that. That's true. Without all those additives. It, it, exactly. That's the thing. That's what people don't understand. Because I've been on a, 
a healthy journey for a couple of years. I cut out meat, so but I pulled I put the fish back in. So mm-hmm. I'm still just trying to get a happy balance of, you know, what I'm what I'm supposed to eat and be healthy because I'm getting older and I am not trying to get high blood pressure, blood pressure. I don't want none of that stuff. No, none of it. Don't. I don't want it. Yeah. It, it runs in the family. I barely mm-hmm, want to too. take the little allergy pill that I have, which I've learned that it's not necessarily hereditary, like they try to make us believe. Mm-hmm. What's hereditary is how you eat. Yeah. Meaning, if your fa- if your mom or you were eating high cholesterol food, blah blah blah, you're going to continue to eat that way. Yeah. So if you continue to eat that way, then you are prone to get high cholesterol, high blood mm-hmm. pressure because of the way that you eat. Not necessarily your buildup. Oh, my dad had it, so I'm going to have it. What's hereditary is how you eat. Now, once mm-hmm. you change your eating habits and eat differently and you learn how to eat healthy and make healthy choices, and, and now, you know, nowadays they have so many chemicals and preservatives in the food now whereas when I was growing up like they used to deliver the milk and the orange juice to the door and the milk if you wasn't there <clears throat> early in the morning it could stay out all day and then and then spoil you just put it in the mm-hmm. when you get home now they have all kind of preservative and hormones and all the foods now to where mm-hmm. it's so unhealthy you don't even know how to eat you're trying to eat healthy and and you know this Vegan phenomenon right now, like everybody's vegan. Everybody's vegan. Everybody's oh my god! Me. But yeah, <laughs> but, it's but true. It's true. Here's the thing with that. Me learning. Here's the thing with that. All of the meat substitutes that you're substituting meat with mm-hmm. are so high in sodium. Right. And so just as bad. Yeah. Just as bad. They're just as bad. Yeah. But well, my yeah. thing is, if you are vegan and you choose not to eat meat, why the fuck do you need a need substitute? A substitute. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't make sense. sense. It doesn't make sense. I know some people like that. It's, <laughs> it's a mental mindset, though. It's it a is. mental mindset of having to eat meat. Okay, I'm not eating yeah. meat, so I'm going to eat all of these pro- these processed things to create a meat and a taste. Yeah. And I think that's even worse because you're creating. It I was is. like, so it's not it meat, is. but it is meat, but it's not meat, yeah. but it is. I'm like, so what the hell is it? And that you shit does not taste like meat. It can't be it healthy. It doesn't it. taste like it's it. It's supposed no. to give you the, exactly. the, mental, the mental thing that, okay, like if you're used to eating <laughs> bacon, eggs, and sausage, then you yeah. have a meat replacement for the bacon, which is probably tofu. Pizza. And then you have egg, fake egg scramble, which is egg. And you're still eating the same way that you were eating, but you're yeah. supposedly mentally eating fruits in it, or Wait, but, you know. But, but if you're ve- if you're vegan though, you can't eat eggs, can you? No, it's like that soy. Some, it's like made out of soy do, and, and that's, grass. And that's or the something. other thing. There are different parts of vegan. You could be vegan where you're eating the dairy and vegan. You know, it's just so many variations well, of it's, um, how people are eating. Obnoxious. You know, it's obnoxious, it's like, honestly. Like, yeah. So like you know what I'm people are like, oh, when I said I didn't eat meat, oh, are you vegan? Well, no, like, because no. to me, vegan is, is more than that. that is, veganism mm-hmm. is like, okay, I'm not going to wear leather shoes and leather coats. Exactly. And I'll be damned if I'm giving away my <laughs> leather shoes and coats. And well, yeah, cheetah leather, print. Not going to happen for Cheetah Ree. Nope, <laughs> that ain't going to happen for Cheetah Ree. Cheetah Ree going to wear her leather. So I can't be vegan because I'm mm-hmm. going to wear my leather and I, I, you know, I'm just not eating meat, you know, mm-hmm. so I eat seafood, then that's pescatarian. So it just makes it a whole bunch of complication that doesn't yeah. need to be complicated. Exactly. Exactly. Like, yeah, I feel no. like so vegans I, I, like to say they're vegan. Like, they'll just be like, oh, I, and nobody asks right, you. Because it's a no one asks you. Like, oh. Like, yeah. okay, eat like salad. Like, I'm so healthy. Oh, I'm eating vegan. Yeah. And this Man, looking is before, at your food, like, you eat that? I cut meat Yeah, out, I can't. <laughs> before I cut meat out of my diet, I would see people that were, oh, I'm vegan. I don't eat meat. And I was wondering, why are they so overweight? Why are they still so big? Yeah. Because if you're really eating right, 
Listen, you're we not don't gonna know gain a lot of weight like that. You're not, but it's the processed stuff that they've been mm-hmm. eating. Well, actually, right. you know what? That's that's, 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 a- that's very true. But you know what? Aside from vegan, I mean, vegetarians are some of the fattest people because all they do is eat pasta. Yeah, pasta, that's true. Pasta, that, and potatoes, right. those that's st- what I'm saying. potatoes. Yeah, so that's you know, it's, it's the fact that you're cutting meat out doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna. It try does to not cook. mean a damn thing. <laughs> It doesn't mean that you're healthy, but, you know, you just got to eat right. Exactly. 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 If you, but if you do anything right, even with meat included, if you eat quote unquote clean eating, which includes Mm -hmm. meat, just making healthier choices, you're still going to lose weight. So the whole thing is mentally eating better. If that's with meat included or without, it's just mentally eating better. Like getting better choices of the meat cut or eating some bison as as opposed to beef, whatever it is. You know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? They got birds you can eat. I don't know. They (laughs) got all kinds of stuff you can eat. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Let me just say this. Being Italian, there's no way I'm going to be able to give up pasta. I tried. Tried to give up bread. Oh, no, that didn't work. (laughs) So I'm just going to continue to eat what I want to eat and be happy with it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's eat it. what I want to eat. That's it. Eat what I want to eat. Be, that's be 20... happy until you got health issues. If you got health issues, that's what I'm saying. Then yeah. Cut that damn pasta out, PDP. No, nah, I'm not. I'm not. That's like taking that's heroin away from a heroin addict. You can't take pasta away from me. Oh, You're gonna take pasta away from me. All right then. <laughs> All right then. I ain't saying <laughs> word. Say too much know. already. <laughs> it, you know what, though? Luckily, and thank goodness, uh, there's there no, you know, God willing, there's no uh, health issues yet. But you're right, Cheetery, you know, it could happen. And then I might have to, uh, yeah. I'll probably have to eat whole wheat pasta. That might kill me. But, you know, oh. do that. Yeah. Whole wheat pasta's it's not bad. I had that. It's not bad, but it's not bad. There's chickpea pasta, which is good. I think it tastes better than um. Wheat. I had chickpea. Thank you. Pasta. Thank I had chickpea. You. Yeah. I had chickpea yeah. pasta. I, I, I eat like chickpea pasta. Yeah. I eat kamut pasta. I eat stuff that I ain't never even heard of. Did like, you ever have any um? Did you, you ever know, have any uh? Pasta. What about cauliflower pasta? Uh, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, but cauliflower is just kind of. It kind of gases me up, so I kind of, kind of got to stay away from like cauliflower, the cauliflower and the broccoli looks, and the so. cabbage, even though I love it. I, yeah, cauliflower really is good really as a stir good. fry, like, but that's it. Travis, do you don't like the way cauliflower looks? I got to make some cauliflower pieces. It was really good. So, wait, you don't like the way cauliflower looks? You have to expand your palate. Nope. Why not, Travis? I don't like the way it looks. But what is it that you don't like about it? I don't know. It just looks funny, you know. <laughs> the way it looks. But yeah, the white little <laughs> bubbly things on the top, and you know, yeah. then it looks like broccoli on the bottom. I'm like, what the hell is this? I'm, I'm like, I don't, I don't want that. You know. <laughs> you know <what? laughs> I don't. I like the way it looks. All right, fair enough. All right. Well, you know what, Travis D. Unfortunately, we can't erase cauliflower because a lot of people like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't got nothing against it. You know. <laughs> Well, all I can say is, all I can say is, I have to do my pasta. I need that. You know, I mean, there's no other way around it. I gotta have that. I mean, that's that's, that's yeah. like taking, that's like taking rice and beans away from, uh, you know, Crystal over there. Am I right? Yeah, there? yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're hey, right. Look, I love, I love rice and beans. You know, I love that. I'll eat that all day too. You know. But, but you know what? I eat, I eat really healthy mm. though. Like I'll just eat like, I still have to have rice, but like a spoonful. It's mostly greens and um beans and i rarely eat meat so i oh, really okay. yeah okay so you're doing some healthy stuff crystal thanks uh-huh i appreciate that yes yeah yes, yes. i don't eat fast food either mm-hmm. i haven't eaten fast food in I 10 do. years i'm the king of fast food i can't i got sick I eat, I when i went vegan bit of it, but <laughs> i got a lot but it depends uh, on what you think yeah, of fast I, food is because like i eat pizza <laughs> But I'm not gonna go to like Domino's or Pizza Hut. I go to an Italian place like Tony's right. Pizzeria, and, and I then got pizza uh, right now. you know that's delicious. Chinese, well, I eat Chinese food. Well, not a lot because of the the sodium, but well, yeah, that's about yeah. it. Yeah, that's the problem with Chinese food. They got a lot of sodium. But you know what? I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Out of all the fast food, I am, and I'm not gonna lie. I am a Taco Bell junkie. 
I mean, I'll go in there. No, I can't. No. I'll go in there. I'll buy the, if I yeah, call, I'll I can live without that. Taco Bell. I will eat it, though. But um, I just haven't in so long because it's not, like, you know, my favorite place or anything. Although I do love tacos. <laughs> I haven't been I, to Taco Bell tacos. probably in five years. Let me tell you. Yeah. Wherever there's a Taco Bell, I will I will stop and get. I'm not gonna lie. It's like White Castle, Travis. Like, I, I now mean, you talk. Oh, I mean, White, Castle. White Castle. That, oh, White Castle. Wait. <laughs> Do you eat White that White Castle? Castle, Crystal? So no, I like I said, I haven't had fast food oh, yeah, in ten right. years, but right, right. I remember White but you Castle. Used to. I used to, yeah, at night after the club. Just going oh yeah, that was our thing too. You know, twenty four hours. Too. After so. after the club, one of the greatest White things. Castle. One of the greatest oh, things used to go. Getting, man, getting trashed at a club was to yeah. go to White Castle. No matter how long the line, you wait, and you got those little belly bombs or whatever you wanted to call them. Oh, gosh, oh. so good. Oh, the yeah. chicken rings so and the burgers. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You can eat that all day. I don't know. You sound like you might be. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it, though. I'm just reminiscing. I remember the, the taste. Okay. I don't know. I wouldn't don't do it. Don't reminisce too hard. Don't <laughs> do it. <laughs> But there's no White Castles anymore. They took out the one in Williamsburg that I used to go to. Oh, there's mm. the one in Queens and Sunnyside. Okay, I was about to say, it got to be some somewhere yeah, now. Are, but they're, they're, they're in Long Island. They're yeah, in Long Island. Island. I know the Hempstead one is still there. That one ain't going nowhere. And there's then, one, and, believe it um, or not, there's one right in Lindbrook. There's one in Lindbrook. It's a 20 Oh, yeah, the one right under the uh, Long Island Railroad. Yeah, yeah you know? they've been there forever, mm. too. Yeah. And, you know, I got to tell you that what that is Atlantic always... Atlantic Avenue. Isn't there one, there's one on Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn, right? I think that's gone. I, that's gone. Yeah, the there's only sunny side Yeah, uh, that's I it. I never knew what the big deal was White Castle. When I finally did go to New York, is it a White Castle? It looked like a frozen process TV or something. I was like, what is the random raving about White Castle? Like, for real? <laughs> Chita, you got to understand something about White Castle. Look, I, I, I couldn't get it. I, I, I just it couldn't get it. It looks I, I, good. I was so but excited yeah. to, to, to taste it. And I was so disappointed. Maybe because I didn't grow up in New York. And it was I don't know like what it is. Thing, but but look, I White like, Castle. Every I time know. I go back to New York, I get White Castle. Because I'm not going to get it again until I go back. And every and time I, I, know, God. I know White Castle at least... If you yeah. there about in five days, I'm going to eat it at least three days of those days. I'm going to make sure I get know what White, White Castle. Castle she went to. What White Castle did you go to, Cheetah Ray? I don't. I have no idea. It was somewhere in New York, and it was in 2017. Was that when you uh, came up to, uh, was that when you came up here? And uh, were you in the island? Mm -mm, mm -mm. It wasn't that time. It was after that. I went, my girlfriend's um, family live in Far Rockaway. Oh, okay. so we were there oh. in Far Rockaway. Oh, so I, that, that's the we White were, Castle. Was it connected to a, a church? No, not churches. It was in half and half. half I, I right? couldn't even tell you. We just rode up in there because she said, Oh, I, I got to get it. Right over there. It's on Beach Channel Drive and Mott Avenue. That's the White Castle right there. I know that White Castle. Well, I, for one, am absolutely, whenever I see a White Castle, same thing. I will get out. So. Getting back to uh, getting back to what we were talking about with what we, can we possibly erase in uh, 2020? Um, I gotta tell you, I think the entire year needs to be erased for the New yeah. York Jets and the New Just York Jets. Everything. Yeah. Just everything. Let's get a restart. Everything restart. Yeah. Can we can we restart the Jets season at least? I mean that was awful. Nah. Uh, that, one, what, <laughs> Travis, what is it? One in twelve. Yeah, they finally did. Why now they won a game, a team that they should have never beat. That's what's funny about it. But yeah. it was, it was, the, the fix was in on that. I mean, we already know that. There was definitely some sort of fix. How the hell did that happen? I don't know. Uh, but let me, I, I, I agree. You know what, Crystal? I agree with you. Let's Thanks. erase the entire year. Erase the entire year. That's, that's yeah. awful. But Horrible. the same token, we wouldn't have had U.S. Roundtable come about. That's true. A lot have. has happened. A lot has happened. In good, in good as well, right? Because right. people are actually looking at while they were thinking in COVID, like, what else can I do? What people started doing hobbies and all that stuff. I started my blog, mm -hmm. you know, out of nowhere because I'm like, you know what, this is kind of I can't keep on waking up and sleeping and waking up and sleeping. I have to do something. Right. right. Um. So yeah, I think a lot of new ideas have come out of COVID. That's true. I mean, we've definitely all uh, we the, the innovations have happened. Uh -huh. Definitely reinvented things. Mm -hmm. 
The main thing is the main thing is now is how are we going to get travesty back into the studio? Oh, <laughs> That's the travesty. We, we, why we not? not? The studio. Uh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, COVID, COVID taught a lot of people how to be creative to still get their money because when yeah. people were being laid off, it's like, okay, I got to do something. It caused businesses to learn how to get into social media when they were probably not trying to, you know what I'm saying? Because it's hard to change and to make that social media transfer to your business yeah. can be costly, but they had no choice at this point. Because mm -hmm. it was it was either try it, do it, or sink. Wow. So there were some good things that came out of it. You know, the bad part is just the loss that came out of it. You know, the like, family members yeah. that were lost, the yeah. people that got really sick. Yeah. But you know, for those that had you know businesses, those small businesses, they had to learn to thrive with social media. And a lot of a lot of those people were really struggling with social media. So, you know, it caused you to be creative, which, you know, sometimes those things would not have happened because you, you were just so comfortable with where life was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it kind of took us out of a comfort zone, which, yeah. which was good. I mean, it was, it was, I mean, I'm still dealing with it, but you know, it, it's a good thing that you have to come out of your comfort zone because sometimes when you're so comfortable, you don't do movement. When you don't have movements, that's stagnant. Yeah. So that was a good thing. So. Well, you know, I find it amazing that the um the phone companies like you know um, Samsung, iPhone, all these companies are rocking. They they want you to pick up these fifteen hundred dollar phones. And again, I go back to the same thing. People can't even pay their bills, but yet they're rocking the cell phones. I get it. I know that they. Yes. They have they have uh, advertising budgets that they already spent for twenty twenty, and it, the I look at it like this. With all this technology, why don't you add something to the commercial? Hey, by the way, we're helping out people with that having problems with their cell phones. Or we're keeping everybody connected thanks to your help. They don't even do it. You yeah, know? That's I mean, true. Every, they're talking about this like the Galaxy. Now they got all these. You can get these little earbuds with the Galaxy, and who knows how much they cost. But again, it's a a, a, gal, a brand new Galaxy phone is what twelve hundred dollars. Anybody see the new one? Twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's a lot. Yeah. Well, all these phones, phones are expensive. as much as a, as a computer. And that's mm -hmm. what's really tragic about it. It's like you spend twelve hundred dollars for a phone. I mean, really, you're just talking on, just talking on the phone. But they do a lot, like yeah. a computer. Some computers cost yeah. less than that. Yeah, laptops are less than that. The laptop I'm on right now is less than that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I mean, it, it's frightening. It's frightening what's happening. But I, mm -hmm. due to the fact that you you can do all these, you know, digital graphics on any type of commercial, put a little something there saying. Hey, if you need help staying connected, you know, we'll help you out. They're not doing it though. Don't even get Verizon. Verizon is a nightmare. You know, I luckily I don't have them, but they're a nightmare. I know a lot of friends that are struggling <laughs> with Horizon right now. You know, and Verizon, I just transferred with Horizon. I thought Sprint was a nightmare. Oh yeah, Sprint's oh, cool. hate Sprint. Yeah. <laughs> Verizon is a scammer, though. So. Yeah. 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 You know yeah. why you know why Verizon's a scammer? I'll give you exactly the reason. Number one, they are a monopoly because cell mm -hmm. phone companies aren't allowed to provide more than 30 gigs of uh, uh, Wi-Fi. And then after that, they have to shut your Wi-Fi off where Verizon is making a, a ridiculous uh, monopoly on Wi-Fi because they're also technically a, a cable company. They're a cell phone company. Mm -hmm. It's unreal. And now what? They're, they also own Yahoo. So that's a total, they, they got to bust them up. That's a mm -hmm. monopoly that needs to be busted up. Yep. Verizon. Unbelievable. Unreal. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they're claiming that they're helping people and they're shutting people off. Oh, well, you didn't call yeah. us to say you're still having trouble, so we shut you off. I couldn't believe yep. it when I heard that. I was shocked. You know, I, I, again, I don't, have, I don't have Verizon, but I was shocked when I heard that. We shut you, you know, off. I'm it? not surprised. They are like that. That's why I got out. I was like, no, 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 no. We're not doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Insane. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, Verizon. They they need they need to retool. They really need yep. to retool what they're doing. You know, I mean, I, I was shocked at that. And back to the cell phones, I got mm -hmm. whatever phone whatever phone comes with the plan. Do I pay extra? No. Yeah, you get this plan, you get this phone. There's no financing this phone <laughs> for ten, 10 years. You know. So, yeah, it's true. It's like, well, it's another twenty dollars a month because you got to pay for your two thousand dollar phone. Why? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Go, go for it. Maybe because yeah. I'm not a millennial. I don't know. 
<laughs> that you are not. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Crystal, are you? Are you, are you, I am. Do you wait, do you fall into the millennial crew or are you part of Generation X? No, millennial, 85. 85. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. so, so you're, so I'm like the beginning. <laughs> you're the beginning of the millennials. But the millennials now, these kids have $2,000. I've seen the phones these kids carry. They Listen, daddies, that's you know, ridiculous. Oh, oh well. <laughs> No, <laughs> my kid's getting an old school flip phone. <laughs> like that's how I started. Listen, by yeah. the time Crystal, by the time you have kids, there's probably not going to be the phone. It's no, there won't the be phones. It's gonna be it's gonna be like some chip that you could like body, see three right? D. Yeah, definitely. Because you know, like, hey. they're already making like it. Like Star Wars when they have the uh, hologram thing. Yeah, the hologram <laughs> thing on the yeah. Like, sure. oh, C three PO, you okay? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Hey, check out my Classic. new Apple unit phone. <laughs> My own it. It's a brand new phone, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> but now nah, I heard about that too, though, Crystal. I know they're they up to some crazy stuff, so. Crazy yeah. shit. No, I'm not. That's scary a little bit. No, no, it is. It's scary it is. You know? a lot. It is. And you know what? I got to tell you, I was terrified of that whole thing with the mirror. You know, the, 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 this guy appears on the screen, you know, and they're looking in the Hey, I can see you in your house. Oh. Yeah, that's, I mean, no. <laughs> Mm-mm. I don't know. That's but, all right. I'll be an old timer. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know. There's nothing wrong with that. Listen, in this day and age, technology it's it's great. It works really well. Sometimes it works too well. And now we gotta mm -hmm. worry about what's coming down the pike because hey, listen, they're gonna be tracking us somehow at this point. A lot of people are saying they're tracking people with the uh with the uh, what do you call it? the uh, vaccination, the vaccine. I, I know that. I heard about that. I heard yeah. about that too. And I'm like, yeah, that's why I'm not taking it. <laughs> your body and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, look, I don't yeah. know. I ain't taking it anyway. I'm I mean, right we now. don't know. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not taking it anyways. I'm not stressing about it. Like, I'll be all right. I'll let you find that. Yeah. But there was exactly. there was one person saying that Bill Gates is could be controlling people with the vaccine. There's this liquid. Well, Look, the funny you know. thing about it is Bill Gates is behind all this, which I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, he owns the patent on it. Bill right? Gates behind the whole vaccine and all this, and all well, the they other say stuff that, going on. Now. They're saying that that vaccine is a microchip that controls you. You never know. I mean, There's if he has also, anything to do with it, don't doubt it. Don't yeah, doubt and it. I'm telling you, I don't doubt it. And also that uh, it could change your DNA. Mm. That's another thing going on. Because Bill Gates has a plan, but Bill Gates has a plan. There's no reason why he's so invested in I this and the thing. Yeah, I know. There's, nah. Well, you know, you know if you go down the rabbit hole, it's his plan. Bill, Ga Bill Gates is apparently somebody yeah. who wants to, when he dies, he wants to leave all of his money to the public library system. I guess that idea might have changed now. I don't think he's going to be uh, I, I can't stand that I man. Speak so. about too much. I ain't going to say nothing. But that yeah. man didn't know that he was that connected in everything no. though. I really didn't know he was that connected with the lot. He's of evil. Yeah. He's evil. Period. Period. It was That's that it. email. There was an email that went around back in the day showing um how you can go into um the actual Microsoft operating system and you can find all of these hidden evil uh, areas and they were all saying Bill Gates at the time was the devil. I remember that. That was a big thing. Listen. Late That's 90s, what he is. early 2000s. Yeah. That was big. Mm -hmm. That Bill okay. Gates. Trav, you remember that email that went out? Bill Gates is the devil. Nah, I actually don't. I don't remember that. Oh yeah, and they, they you know, I mean, I might have forgot though. I might have just forgot yeah. about it. My question to all of you right now is, starting with you, Crystal. Yeah. What are we planning for New Year's Eve if there is any type of celebration? Will it be another Zoom? Oh, uh, no. This is on New Year's Eve. I like to just like set up the day for the year. You know, it's all about me cleaning my room, throwing things out and all that stuff, meditating and journaling and then drinking, you know, <laughs> that's it. It's like, make sure that coffee. I start Monday. Yeah, no. He's trying to get ready for the new year. Yeah, I have to get ready for the new year. So different goals. Yeah. yeah, different goals and, you know, what mm -hmm. did you do better? What could you have done better? You know, even though you, you, you. You have these goals, and sometimes we start off strong in the beginning of the year, and then we slack off. It's still good yep. to do that as a momentum, and you know, as creating goals for for yourself. Well, exactly. Tra Travis D, what about you for the new year? Nothing. I'm not doing anything New Year's Eve. No New Year's Eve. Right? Watching TV, watching some movies, and that is it. I'll probably be asleep before twelve o'clock. Who knows? <laughs> 
<laughs> right, right. I could barely keep my eyes open. Well, no, last year I did go to to an event last year, but one yeah. year I could barely keep my eyes open. I woke up and it was like, Happy New Year! <laughs> yeah. Cheetah Reed, what uh, are you going to be doing? Um, you know me, trying to trying to do something. I don't know. I might have a date or something. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, you, you're the I'm most datingest woman I know. Hey, yes. <laughs> I need to try this. Try this. Fifty two. <laughs> trying to date. I don't know what what oh, I'm no. doing. So I have to have. No, some no, that's a good thing. That's a good yeah. thing. I'm just saying. You know, meet your high in demand. You know. Okay. Wait. What? <laughs> what? I need a visual. What you say? I said, at least you're high in demand. You know, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I am just not high in demand, Travis. I don't know why everybody thinks mm. I am so high in demand. That is, I mean, in a, no, I mean a, in a good way. I mean in a good amen. way. You know, you know. Well, I'll tell you what. One thing that I... I one know. Thing that... I'm, I mean, I, I, I took it in a good way, but I'm just still saying, you know, I'm not high in demand. <laughs> Every week you had a date so far. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's the same date. It's oh, the same date. That's cool. okay, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Well, you know what? You know, it's the same day. You know. I got to tell you, this this guy this guy has been really cool though, Cheetah Ray. He's been really cool letting you you know with the, not having, worrying about the whole thing with the podcast, letting you podcast in his car, letting you podcast on a date. That was tremendous. We made history. Right. <laughs> okay. I, I said today, I was like, oh my God, I got to do this podcast. He said, oh yeah, you got to do the podcast. I was like, okay, I'll call you back when I'm done. <laughs> oh. Oh, how, how, <laughs> I was, I was how, so low today, but you know, <laughs> even the last time, you know, we were out and I was like, oh, I got to do the podcast. He's like, okay, do the podcast. All right. I'm going to do the podcast. <laughs> you know what? We might have to. Give it, we might have to speak to this guy one day. You guys ever thought about that? The date on the podcast? Ooh. Got quiet. <laughs> She's like, nah. Well, no, no cheatery? No, no. You don't, you don't want to put him on? You don't want to put him on? Okay, okay. You never know. We might make him a regular on the show. No, no, no. no, no. It's just so she ain't telling us. No, she yeah. don't want it out there he's like that. That's to... who he is, you know. He can, he can what, what about if he comments from afar? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you don't want to show the face. Comment. I get it. I get it. Might be blowing up somebody's spot or something. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> no, no. You know, it's just. You know, it's just kind of new, me. and you know, I don't want to. Yes, man, no, so. <laughs> now, you know, if it was like five, three, four years in, oh, yeah, he over here. Switch the camera and say, uh, hey. Look, I was just messing with you. I was just messing with you. <laughs> it's all right. You can mess with me. I can take it. <laughs> well, I just want to say that I, I uh, am doing just a small gathering of like maybe three, four people tops for New Year's. And I can assure you, I will be getting oh. smashed out of my mind. I'm not even going to lie. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave the link on. And, uh, you know, anybody who wants to pop in on New Year's Eve, we'll all pop it in yeah. toast on New Year's. I'm always <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I'll probably be asleep. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Definitely or not. Either, not. Yeah. Or either watching some movie like, yeah. You know, well, you know, nah, I'm not going to be asleep, but you know, I will be yeah. like just chilling. You know? yeah. Crystal, mm -hmm. you have all that to look forward to once you break 40. All of a sudden, you'll be watching something, and next thing you know, you wake up at two in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's happened to me, Trav. I know you, every once in a while you say you nod off, but I nod off. I'm gone. Forget it. It's all over. So, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to go and get a get a, uh, a refresher. And yeah. toast. What do we say? Yeah, we can do that because uh oh yeah I'm getting a little I gotta hungry. go get my drink. I gotta <laughs> yeah. go get my drink. You know what? Me too, I'm not gonna lie. It was like I know I eat right. I made I made y'all hungry and on my eat, but I don't wanna be rude and eating on tea on the thing. So no. I didn't want my stomach to make noise. I'm like, Lord, <laughs> do not make a noise when we're talking. Okay, what was that? Uh... I hate that. <laughs> 
when your stomach growls. When it's yeah, when your stomach growls, it'll be the it'll be so silent, and that's when and that's when it talking. always comes. Yeah, I'm it always like, comes when there's nothing going on. <laughs> then I like try to cough, kind <laughs> 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 of cancel the noise. You just cough told me a loud. secret about you. Okay, <laughs> whenever you, you cough, it I'm gonna know it's really a stomach. <laughs> it's my stomach. It's my stomach. <laughs> oh, you're back. Oh, we. Okay, yeah, you yeah. can stop talking about me now. I'm back. Hold on. All right, Chi, you got a refresher on the coquitos? No, because it's thick, so it's like slowly going down. So I still oh, have that. Okay. Yeah. Travis, are you going to drink with your mouse? Huh? You going to be drinking with your mouse? I feel like going up the steps, man. I'm lazy right now. We're thinking about food right now. That's why. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Travis, Travis, your Majesty, we are going to go ahead and start off with the with the New Year's resolution. And uh, who, who would you like to start with? Yeah. I would like to hear Cheetah's New Year's resolution. <laughs> okay. My resolution is to be more spiritual, to gain more knowledge. Hmm. And to not be afraid to make movements. Hmm. Nice. So I'm That's in a broad good. sense. That's pretty good. Because, mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Because I have to talk myself out it's of so good the fear that I factor. ditto. I ditto yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? We're like, I'll take that too. Because <laughs> I usually don't make resolutions. I really don't, you know, but oh, that I yes. can deal with all. I wouldn't say resolutions, but going into the new year, that those were some things that I reflected on during this year because of COVID and being able to sit still and revamp myself because, you know, I was like, okay, what, what kind of career can I be in where, you know, I can still thrive even with right. something like this? Because the majority of us, we probably won't have another pandemic in our lifetime but not to oh. say that there is never another pandemic. Right. So that's that's my reflection. Those are the things that I would like to do. And and also just be mindful to make time for friends and loved ones and not be so absorbed. Because life is really too short. And with this 2020, I endured a lot of loss. People that you know that have lost people. Mm -hmm. And though that kind of makes you really like, oh, dang, if, if I just have a phone call with someone that I haven't talked to in a while, just to say hello, and you just never know what people are going through to where that phone call would just make such a great difference in what they're mm -hmm. doing in their life. So that, that, that's my reflection for 2021. Okay. Yeah. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Travis, who's next? Uh, you. Since oh. You <laughs> oh, like really like <laughs> oh wow okay well now that i have a, a refresh on this vodka and i can still see i don't know if i'm going to be able to see much longer so I'm <laughs> well, hurry I'm up go ahead. <laughs> eyes are getting more squintier <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it is it is it yeah, yeah. <laughs> well <laughs> My New Year's resolution is this. Um, I am going to literally go ahead and concentrate on trying to help people in 2021. And a lot of people have already come to me and I've about to get a lot of services so far. But going forward in 2021, definitely to help more people. And just like Tita Reese said, uh, definitely to gain more knowledge in my right. head. Now that's um, a good one. That gaining more knowledge. I like that. Yeah, gaining more knowledge. So Tita Reese, I roll with you on that. Um, and I do plan on helping a lot more people. Mm -hmm. All right, Travis, who's next? You. Chrissy Chris. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, this New Year's, I'm going to work on my, um, my business, on myself. Mm -hmm. I think I've helped mm -hmm. so many people emotionally. Every, everything is like about others. And now I think it's time for, for myself to focus on myself now. And that's it. That's what I do have to do that too. I missed that one. You know, because, sometimes you know, like I'm so busy I help doing others. other things. Yeah. And I, I don't I put myself last. Put yeah. And I'm not doing that yeah. anymore. So and not not meaning to. I know for me, I'm not meaning to. I just don't know how to do me. 
because it's, it's always been something else. Like yeah. my husband, kids growing up. That's I'm always yeah. his daughter. Yeah. I find myself always, in that place a lot yeah. too. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. You know, so like I do just more have for yourself it. sometimes. Right. Not, it's not that it's selfish, but sometimes you got to do things for yourself too. You know? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, sometimes you have. I mean, mentally, you have to say, "Okay, I, I have to be selfish." It's okay sometimes to be selfish right. because mm -hmm. if you you're so busy doing you something, you lose yourself. For someone else. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. So that that's another one I have to put down too is to just do more with myself mm. because everybody else is taken care of you know that's right you know, you know what i agree with that and um, i'll throw my i'll throw myself in there a little bit because helping people will make myself feel better because a lot of people they like to say well you know you do things for other people to make yourself feel good yeah. why shouldn't you feel good yeah exactly you know? there's uh, nothing I, wrong with that and yeah, helping I, people I, is a good feeling to that's help just them. a human thing you should do anyways you know what i'm yeah. saying um, but no, you want to have more people. You want to outsource, and which is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Right. And mm -hmm. I just want to say that, you know, Crystal, I'm glad you brought up the fact that you're trying to do more for you because, you know, we no. do have that link out there. We do have that link mm -hmm. out there for, you know, you to go ahead and push so people can push. We'll push to get that coffee shop going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that link out there. We're going to be pushing that. She lives um, trying to yes. go back and forth in my podcast. And the, oh, and the other thing is, the other thing is, is that I really want to push out the the U.S. Roundtable stimulus bill. Definitely want to do that because that's- That'd be so dope, dope. Yeah. yeah. That would be dope, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, we'll yeah. push it out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, Travis D, who's next? You. <laughs> no one next. You. You. Oh. <laughs> What's yours? <laughs> well, yeah, like I said, I just, I just stole from everybody. Like I said, I-, I... <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to make it easy. <laughs> Since I don't never have resolutions. I, like I said, I really like what uh, uh, Sheeta said. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, man, I want to gain more knowledge and I want to help take care of myself. I mean, I do take care of myself, but I do yeah. so much. For, right, right. Just doing more. So much for everybody else. You know, yes. people mm -hmm. need this. You know, other people need this. And I'm always catering to people. Sometimes I put them ahead of me. You know, and we I always them, do it. Especially and, and when I we have family. To, to make sure everybody's good. But sometimes mm -hmm. I'm just like, look, I need to do this first for me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And then you all can, you know, and that's yeah. what I want to do. I just want to continue being myself, but mm -hmm. also do a little more for me, myself sometimes so I can just chill out. Yep. That's really Absolutely. it. Got, it's not big, yes. but it's something. You guys um, see my new pink cheetah coat? Cheetah I Reed? love it. I love it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Cheetah Reed, you looked open that coat. Absolutely. I've actually never mm -hmm. seen a pink cheetah before. That's something new right there. <laughs> it's the first time for everything, child. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm hot. I'm hot as hell, but I'm wearing this cheetah coat. <laughs> okay. Well, so I want to toast to all of you. I want to thank you all yes. for being on this show. And I want to thank you all for being a part of this because without you, there is no show. Yeah. And that goes yeah. out to Cheetah Ray, that goes out to Crystal D, and it goes out mm -hmm. to Travis D, your majesty. <laughs> the man who I originally <laughs> twisted his arm to yeah. come into this whole thing. Yeah, you did. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. I toast you all. Cheers. I toast you all. Salud. Salud. All right. And, and we out. Mm -hmm. All right. You at the round table out. See you next year. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. And peace out to all of you all, too. Travis D, give us the sign-off. I, I thought I did, but then we kept going. <laughs> yeah, so now you can give us the sign-off, Travis D, people. For real, we are now out. Out. Bye. Bye. Bye.